Do you have an old rifle laying around and you're not quite sure if the bore is safe to shoot? Or maybe you're going to buy an old rifle and you want to make sure that you get the most amount for your money. Now's the time to bore scope it to make sure everything is looking good. Now I want to talk to you about the Teslong bore scope. This thing I won in a raffle at SHOT Show this year and I wasn't looking for a new bore scope, but um, the more I use this, the more I like it. Now it does have these mirrors that screw on to the end here, so that way you can see up into the grooves. And it also has a stop. In this stop, you can just move back and forth, so that way you don't jam it all the way through the rifle and then damage the mirrors. So let's get this thing into a bore, so that way you can see how good the quality of the camera is. Now I've got this Remington Viper 522 on the bench here. And <clears throat> this is a, a rifle I've had for a while. It doesn't get a lot of love. I don't get to shoot it very often. It's just a little 22 that I bought. I think I bought it for like 100 bucks at a gun store one time it was used. But as you can see in the camera here, this board looks pretty good. And then right there, there's a little bit of pitting. Let's go a little deeper into the bore. I did bore scope this earlier, so I know that there's pitting in here. And there we go. Right there is a good amount of pitting in that barrel. It's not bad. This thing's still safe to shoot, especially being a 22. But it's definitely something that I'm going to have to make sure that I take care of to allow this barrel to get the most amount of life out of it. As we're just kind of going down the bore, bore here, there's a little more pitting right there. Now I'm doing this on the big monitor just because I like working on the big monitor there. This Teslon does come with a unit here that you can actually plug the bore scope into and do your recording in snapshots right here off of this unit. So that way if you're in the field, you don't have a computer, it's no big deal. You just use this and it stores to an SD card right on board that you can transfer the files over. You can even do change the lighting of the bore scope. Now since I have this plugged into the computer, I can change it right here at the cable. Now, as you can see, this borescope has a really good camera to it. I'm really in love with this camera. Um, I didn't really know how well of a camera that this thing was going to have, but it's it's amazing. Now, this has a 22 mirror on it because obviously this is a 22. I'm going to swap a rifle out. We're going to put the M1 Grand on here, and let's take a look down that barrel. I know that barrel is completely shot out. But let's get you a chance to see what a bad barrel will look like. Now I'm going to change the mirror out here. I have that 22 mirror on. And all you do is you unthread the mirror. Right here is a little nut that you can use to counter screw against the mirror. So that way it doesn't come unthreaded. And I'm watching the monitor here as I'm threading on my mirror. Make sure I have a really good contact there. All right, and let's go into this M1 Grand. And as you can see here, there's a lot of pitting inside this barrel. I mean, this barrel is shot out. It's a very old rifle, and it's in desperate need of a rebarrel job. But look at how clear that picture is. You can see that pitting inside there and you can see there's not much rifling left in this thing at all as we're going down here as you can see this with this camera this thing is just so amazing with it and there's some copper fouling right there in the barrel And look how bad that pitting is right there. A little more copper fouling. 
So this barrel really is shot out. Um, I knew that before I put this in here, but I wanted you to see what a pitted up barrel looks like because you don't get a chance to see what a good barrel versus a bad barrel is. I'm gonna switch this over from the computer over to this monitor here. Now, the one thing that's nice about this monitor is it does record sound as well. So that way, as you're doing the bore scope and you're, you're videoing it, you can speak so that way you can annotate what you're seeing in the barrel. So when you pull the file off later, you know exactly what you were looking at. Now you see, you won't get a very long cable to run off of this monitor, but out in the field, you don't need a very long one at all anyways. And the way this works is in the top, you'll slide this USB cable in until it snaps in. On the other side here, you'll have this plug that we will just unscrew the bore scope. Pull that out. Now this is keyed, so it'll only go in one way. Thread that in. And as you can see, we're already getting video on the monitor. Now this monitor has a little kickstand that you can screw on. That way it can prop up. I'm gonna take it off just so we can lay it flat. Now on the screen, there's a little camera up in the top corner, and that's telling you that you can take a picture. So if I press the little button, it'll take a picture of what I'm looking at. Now, if I wanna do video, it's real simple. Hold this M button, and you can see now there's a little camera. Now we're doing video so that when I hit this camera button, it's recording. And you can see right inside that barrel there. So that's the digital bore scope from Teslong. This thing is really nice. This is my new favorite toy in the shop. Um, I got a feeling I'm gonna be sticking this down so many barrels just to play with it, just because that picture is so clear. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. Look forward to seeing you again soon.